Hey, hey, loungies. Welcome to Etoxic Tea Lounge. Enjoy. Hey, what's up, my loungies? Welcome to Etoxic Tea Lounge. Everything in this video is allegedly less talk. Disclaimer. I do not condone in any form of bullying or violence on this platform. Anything in this video is for information purposes and entertainment purposes only. This platform also consists of celebrity drama, rumors, opinions, roasting, tea, some shade. So if you are sensitive to opinions, this is not the channel for you. Miss Magic City, Gorgeous Doll, is coming out again trying to expose Lotto. First time, it was she picked up money out the strip club, blah, blah, blah. But at the time, Lotto got her wallet stolen. Now, this time, she's claiming that Lotto is putting hits out on her. She's claiming she's pregnant, okay? And she's claiming 21 Savage friends did it. So she know it was Lotto who did it. Uh, it's a story time. So it's a story time about how this is lame as don't stand on business and want to that's how this is gonna go okay long story short i went out last night okay as y'all can see i was lit i was drinking like four or five bottles of wine i was lit okay i was celebrating with my homegirl now okay my homegirl she got some shit going on i got a lot of shit going on and to be honest like i think it's really funny okay i've been laughing about this <laughs> because i know want to hit me and my mother Lit. I talk a lot of shit, right? But I'm not gonna stop. I'm still talking shit. At the end of the day, I posted, I said what the fuck I said. I stand on what I said. Now pay attention. She claims that somebody came up to her, snuck her, and hit her in the lip, right? Later on down the line, she says and claims that she got jumped. So which one is it, ma'am? She made it seem as if one female or somebody just came out of nowhere and just hit her and ran. Okay, that's what is given, but she's not name dropping yet. We're gonna get into that. So make sure y'all like this video. Make sure y'all continue to the end because it gets a little bit spicy. For this person, because you chose to host a party here, you chose to do this, and a lot of girls pay house fees, they bought outfits, they really put money here, nails, lashes, everything. And then because you can't find your little wallet, not a purse with a bunch of bread in it, but a little card wallet, you picked up every dollar on the floor that you threw and took it with you. And the title at the time, Magic City Dancer claims Lotto took all the money she threw after her wallet went missing. Now Lotto at the time said, don't bother me for one month. Auntie, gotta recover. She also puts out some money and says, and buy a new wallet. Laughing my butt off. Like, what? I thought a bro girl said something. This was allegedly the DJ at the time. I'm not sure. Um, Lost all respect for that individual. Who the F are you? Now, at the end of the day, Lotto got her wallet stolen. So she said, I don't got my wallet. Y'all not going to get this money. It's her money. Like, what? So she was getting a lot of backlash at that time. Oh, she's not a girl's girl. Da, 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 da. Whatever. Even Gorgeous Doll, later on in this video, she claims that Lotto is not a girl's girl. A lot of us females are not girl's girls. So please, please cut it out. Okay? Now, y'all might say, why all of a sudden is Lotto bothering her now? And this was from last year. Let her get into the rest of this damn video. But what I don't respect is I don't respect a bitch not coming toe to toe with me. You have to hide, run up and sneak me and then run off. Like, how, how can you, you, I can't respect that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I always felt like if it's not directed, it's not respected. And it's like, okay, yeah, somebody bust me. <laughs> Somebody bust me in my lip last night. But, um, yeah, that's not stopping anything. I'm still talking shit. I'm still going to use asses. And now that I know this is sneaking and, like, this is a sneak attack type of situation, I know how we moving. I know how we moving. Okay, that's fine. Thing is, I know who all my ops are. And the person that put their hands on me last night was not nobody that I knew. So now that I know this is sending hits, right, 
I like that about you. I like that about you a lot, actually. Because I like that shit, too. But anyway, so yeah. Time to get active. Time to get in the field. Um, ain't nobody going to go toe-to-toe. It's always going to be some type of sneak shit. I accept that. But I just want people to accept it as well when it comes their way. But y'all, yeah, yesterday I went out. I was walking out of uh, this club. And mind you, the club was empty. So somebody had to call somebody and tell them where I was. Somebody set me up. Which is fine and dandy. Now y'all know I repeatedly say that I do not condone and weak ass behavior. And I feel weak ass behavior is somebody that cannot take words. They go on, they, oh my God, they saying this to me online. Oh, they saying this and we having an argument and stuff like that. Y'all ready to fight. Y'all cannot control yourselves. Keep your hands to yourself. She could say whatever she wants to say. If a stroke a nerve, if it strike the nerve, oh well. You want to say what I'm saying? Use your words, okay? That's just how I feel. Now, she's going to continue. She's going to continue. And she's going to say these things. Oh, she doesn't like this. Oh, um, she's going to take care of it. Oh, she this and she that. Now, my juicy says she was drunk and everything else right another thing is this right i overstepped and i want to apologize to my friend okay me and t we were drunk we were having fun i have been seeing what's going on with her behind closed doors all through her pregnancy everything she's been going through and t is not like me t is not um confrontational t is kind of like a like like she don't want anybody to feel like she is like messy or like you know as if she's like a bitter baby mama nothing like that but it's like at the end of the day i was seeing somebody that i would go through a lot of stuff i saw some somebody says you were just talking about something potentially happening to her in a strip club because of the connections you have that kind of sounded like a threat and now you got jumped for it i mean she says what goes around comes around but there's morals some people have and some don't so i'm I guess she's talking about her pregnancy. How were you drinking knowing you were pregnant, ma'am? She says, I was drinking red wine. Next question. You was drinking how much red wine, girl? Because you say you was drunk. I don't know. You kind of put the ball in the court when you insinuated. You could get her touched because you mentor a lot of dancers. It kind of just feels like she beat you to it. So some people was like, girl, bah. I would have actually filed a suit against her because you're pregnant. And she liked it. And then she would laugh out loud with a shh emoji. I understand you like two seconds pregnant. But babes, you told her get in the field. And I was and was popping off crazy out the mouth. So technically, she got in the field. Just didn't get her hands dirty. And she says she didn't do a thing. Okay, so why are you putting a lot of name on it then? Not only that, she has a Magic City lawsuit. She did an update. She basically made it seem as if things are going in her favor because she had proof um, of everything that they claimed that she was lying about. Okay, so she got bigger fish that she need to fry. I wasn't going to address the situation anymore because I myself don't want a case. But, um... A lot of the questions were like, do you know who set you up? It's the same person who I was like, hey, when I handle my situation, we can get in the field, um, sent a hit at me, still pregnant. Um, and at the end of the day, it's just like people, you know, they do things that could possibly their careers. But at the end of the day, some people, you know, can't accept failure. And let me really like spill a little tea, okay? Because y'all tell me if I'm wrong. Tell me if I'm wrong on why y'all... This is why I think the girl is really mad, okay? Because it's like this. Mind you, I've talked to people that are in the music industry. Because I really try to understand it myself. Why is this girl so mad? Like, what is her real beef with me? But um, when the shit happened with Magic City, right? I was told that the song that dropped got blitzed. It was like overshadowed by all the drama and it didn't sell as many units or whatever it was supposed to do. It didn't do what it was supposed to do. Okay. Okay, cool. So then the day that the album dropped was when I heard the full song because I don't listen to the girl's music. 
Okay, I'm not a supporter. But anyways, the day that it dropped, granted, me, I don't feel like I have a platform that is going to overshadow somebody's record sales and somebody's, you get what I'm saying? Like, I just don't feel like what I'm saying is overshadowing and having that big of effect on this girl's career. I really feel like this. I feel like you can't accept the fact that your shit ain't selling because don't, don't get me wrong, but you got some good music. <laughs> please, please, somebody, please tell me what in the Delulu stuff is going on here. She really thinks. That Lotto caring for her that much that she thinks that the things that she's saying is really like affecting Lotto and Lotto's putting all of her failures for music on her girl. And then she says, I don't listen to her music, but she has good music. Girl, make up your mind. How you know she got good music if you don't listen to it? Girl, Bob with the laws. You have some good music, okay? But I really think you blame me for your shit not selling. I really think that because when I made that video, Magic City, mind you, didn't say the girl's name, didn't say, oh, this, I didn't do none of that, okay? I said, this is what can happen. Also, if you decide to be in nightlife, you could go to work, think you're making money, the hope, the customer pick up all the money and leave, okay? I did not attack that. I think that internally, I think that this girl blames me for her music not doing good lately. I think- Please. Why is this girl giving herself this much credit? Please, why? Why is she giving herself this much credit? This is so cringy to even listen to. Just to see and hear how, like, entitled she thinks she is. Like, girl, okay, you're pregnant. Okay, okay, you pop stuff. Okay, things happen. You say you know you your mouth is crazy. And sometimes people can't handle that. So, of course, they might sneak you. They might jump you. They might... Do whatever. That's what comes with, I guess, you know, speaking your mind or popping shit, as they say. Okay, but I really think she giving herself a little bit too much credit. I don't think Lotto is clocking her like that. I feel you got to have some proof, baby. That she thinks, oh, this girl who's been on my ass, and mind you, I wasn't on her ass. I made one post about Magic City. Let the situation go. You dropped your album. I felt like you took a shot at me. So I came and was like, what's the issue? What are you mad for? But in the long run, when you lay everything out, right, since it's a party or whatever dropped and all the her picking up the money, me bringing that to surface, overshadowed that drop. And then when she just dropped this album, I'm sitting here still talking. So I really feel like this girl is blaming me for her shit not selling. And it's as simple as that. But you sent some people to jump me while I was pregnant. And then you want people to think you're a girl's girl, baby, you lost. You're fighting demons about your music on your own. Because ever since the It's a Party went left, and now the first week of your album went left, and then you sent somebody the day, the same day that they dropped her stats for her album was the same night that she sent somebody to jump me. Because you look stupid. Right? Now, let me tell you, like, typically when I go out in the city, I'm not with a bunch of girls, okay? I'm with security. I'll probably be by myself. You sent multiple people to come put hands on a pregnant lady. You will never be a girl's girl, and you will always be a joke, to me, at least, because I wouldn't do nothing like that. I wouldn't. I know it's a felony to put hands on a pregnant person, but for you to send people to jump a pregnant person, not a girl's girl. And I'm sorry your music's not doing what you want it to do. It's not my fault, though. But you're only making it worse. Men? Oh, no. Nah. And she said she really needs to be canceled. If I give more details, everyone would know I'm not lying at all. This happened at Copper Cove. Is that supposed to mean something? <laughs> um, She taken after Cardi Chow. That's a barb. She says laugh out loud. And she had to pay them. Baby, you got to have proof with these allegations. Sorry you went through that, but I think the fight started because you started talking about her man. Once you said that, you sent your friend to go. Handle your business. I don't know. That would have did it. You mean after she had people threatening my son and I had to send him to live with his dad? It's been beef with this girl. 
okay. So I guess now at the time, you know, Lotto shining and everything else, I guess she decided to come out and say something because she got jumped and she assumes that it's Lotto. Words should never make someone want to get you physically hurt. All right. And that's how I feel. So if Lotto did that, that's kind of weak. Um, you stay in some mess. You love this. Laugh out loud. And she's laughing. So you're pregnant and you liking these things. Okay. Girl, why you wasn't in the house and you're pregnant? It seems like you don't like her or something from the incident the first time. And you calling her out. She says, never had a problem with her. She's a very pretty girl. We could have been cool, but I just told a story and it went left. You know exactly what you did by saying that. You knew exactly what you did. Stop stealing people's stuff, whoever it was. How do you know she did it, though? I was at Copper Cove and 21 homeboys and sisters were the ones who did it. And I was told this by someone at Copper Cove who knows them personally. So it's a he say, she say thing then. Because if you don't know them, how you know they knew them? Girl, you gotta have proof. Um, I'm doing the EEOC process now. They didn't make you um have a mediation. Nope, I'm not doing no mediation. I'm going straight to suing, straight to the courts. I have four different lawsuits and I was essayed by my managers. I'm going toe to toe, full fledged. Okay, so she has a couple lawsuits and she got a lot of things going on over there, it's looking like. Now, Lotto did not respond, okay? If she do respond, then we will talk about it, okay? But let me know how y'all feel about this. Do you believe that Lotto put a hit out and got this pregnant girl jumped? And we don't even know if she's pregnant for real. Where, where's the proof for that, okay? Because she was like, oh my God, um, Lotto tried to unalive me and my child girl the exaggeration when you have allegations like this i'm sorry to say but you gotta have proof everything has to have proof nobody can just you know believe anything that come out of everybody's mouth because we all can say whatever we want you understand what i'm saying but if you're really trying to get somebody in trouble and stuff like that and put those allegations on people you gotta have something to back it up just because 21 Savage, if it was 21 Savage people, whatever the case may be, you say you already got a lot of ops. I'm pretty sure a lot of people are mutual friends. So, I mean, it is what it is. But I guess because, you know, Lotto and 21 Savage allegedly is dating because no confirmation for that really has been out between 21 or Lotto, I guess is um, association. <laughs> Because, girl, first you said somebody just came out of nowhere, hit you, and ran. Now you saying you got jumped. Please tell me which one it was. And if Lotto really did this, like, I, that's my wife, but you know how I am. It don't matter how, if I like you or not. I'm still going to, you know, waste my opinion if I feel if something's wrong. If Lotto really did that, she's dead wrong, and that's weak, itch behavior. That's just how I feel. I feel like any grown adult... Going to put hits out on people or jump them, fight them or whatever. Just because something somebody's saying things that you don't like, that's weak. How about you just say something back or just don't say nothing at all and ignore them if it was really that serious. But I felt like Shorty's pregnant and she's putting herself in a lot of situations, a lot of lawsuits and a lot of things. And I feel like once you're pregnant, you got to try to live in a more of a positive light. Giving opinions online is not that serious. Okay, I feel like everybody could do that. That's the that's what the internet is here for. Comment sections are there to comment. Content and entertainment is there for a reason. The internet is the internet, okay? Now, I feel like people that take it off the internet and make it personal because they don't like things being said is really weak. It's childish. It's petty. It's lame. Like, can we just get it together? Now, if Shorty's going to sue Lotto, she's going to have to have some proof. So we're going to see what proof she has because you can't just go in the court and say, hey, I know Lotto did this because it was 21 savage people that did this to me. Your video says that you have a lot of ops, so that's going to be hard to prove. <laughs> but anyway, I love y'all, and I guess I'll see y'all in the next video. Until then, toodaloos, bye-bye.